Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of the Native Diaries. This episode, well, it's about mules and hybrids. And we're going to have a look in the canary room this year on the muling pairs that we are putting together. We're going to have a look at one of the hybrids that we've got in the room as well. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the likely expectations from some of the shows that we've been to, some of the native British Finn shows that we've been to. So, you know what to do, everyone. Grab yourself a cuppa, sit back, and enjoy the show. When it comes to muling pairs, well, here in the Canary Room, we've got four muling pairs on this year. Um, the first pair that we're going to look at is a Siskin Cockbird and a green, yellow, feathered Fife Hen. Um, now, the Siskin Cock is a, a couple of years old with the vast majority of muling pairs. One of the things that you'll find is that we are um, using a, a native finch cock. I say vast majority, um, there are some exceptions to that. So of course bullfinches, uh, the male bullfinch won't mate um, with anything other than a bullfinch. And with the greeny that we've got in here, the green finch in here, we've also got a hen. So our first pair is a, a siskin cock and a, a green yellow feathered um, Fife Canary Hen. Um, she's not a bad little bird, this Fife Canary. Uh, what was important for me was uh, to get a dark bird actually for this muling pair. Um, the rest of the birds I've got are all light birds, uh, but for this particular pair I wanted to get a, a dark bird. Um, really nice lines on it. The, the, the cock bird's quite well marked as well. So um, we've got these together. Uh, we'll see how they get on. Siskins, by their very nature, can be right little pains in the backside. Uh, they can interfere, um, they can uh, destroy nests, destroy eggs. Um, they can, if you're super, super lucky, make exceptional fathers as well. So we'll see. I will let this pair sit. Uh, so if she does lay, might have to take the cock away, but I will let this pair sit. So hopefully we'll see how we get on with those throughout this season on the Native Diaries. The second pair we've got, it's another native male finch, and this time it's a linnet cock. Now, I've had this linnet cock for a couple of years. Um, he's a nice bird. Um, what you often find in the captivity is the linnet doesn't take on the sort of natural colour. Um, one of the things which uh, I've been really impressed with, and it was one of the reasons I wanted to try this pairing, was uh, a linnet mule that Mac Finch, Paul Gilchrist, uh, bred a few years back. We saw it, I think, on season three of the show. Uh, quick reminder of it here. Lovely, lovely bird. Did really well um, by uh, on the on the show bench. So a really, really nice bird. I've got this with a lightly marked Norwich hen. Um, now, I am using straight Norwich hens this year. Um, what I might look to do in future years is breed um, a Norwich over one of my sort of crossbred birds. Um, to sort of try and get the head, but but uh, but have them a bit more sort of fit in vigour. Nothing wrong with this Norwich hen. She's a very fit bird. Um, so as I say, we'll wait and see um, when they're ready and when she goes to nest. And that brings us to our next pair. I guess one of the most prized assets um, of any bird keeper's collection is the goldfinch cock. Um, they are incredibly popular uh, as a bird. Um, you know, they're incredibly popular for muling and hybridizing. Um, this is a, a British goldfinch cock bird that we've got, really good mask on him. He's with a yellow feathered Norwich hen, a bird I bred last year. Um, they seem to have settled down together quite well. I've not really seen them feeding, but there's no bickering, which is good. Um, the, uh, the Norwich um, Goldie Cross, I think for me, is one of the nicest muling pairs that, that you can get. Um, I think we've got one in the house that was gifted to us by Shane last year for Charlotte for her birthday and that's an absolutely stunning bird. Um, so I really really like this pair, uh, I like this bird so we'll see of course on the Native Diaries how they get on. And our final pair, well our final pair is a um, slightly different in that this time it's a native hen uh, and a canary cockbird. Um, the canary cockbird is a Norwich, it's a Norwich I bred a couple of years ago. I know he fills eggs, he's a really nice Norwich cockbird actually. 
um, and it's a greeny hen that I got in off Shane. Um, so this pair, uh, they've actually overwintered together. And I think one of the things with um, mules is that you're, you know, really advised to overwinter them with each other so that they, they sort of build a familiarity. I think in this case, familiarity has built contempt uh, because um, they've been battling, they've been fighting now. I'm assuming that's because they're coming into condition. Um, but it's a nice mule, this bird, when it's produced. Um, so fingers crossed, certainly a yellow feathered variety of it is. Fingers crossed we'll get some before the end of the season. We'll have a, a, a quick look now at some of the, the sort of the mules and hybrids that have made the bench. There is a hybrid in the in the room here. Um, it's a northern hybrid, so it's a cross between a goldfinch and a bullfinch of the northern variety. So not a native bird, but um, really, really nice bird this. Um, but let's have a quick look now at some of the birds that have made the show bench, not owned by me, um, in previous years. And before I sign off for today, well, let me show you one of my previous successes when it's come to muling birds. And that was with a Twite Norwich cross. Um, I managed to breed two out of this, a lovely yellow feathered cock bird and a buff hen. Unfortunately, the yellow feathered cock bird didn't make it, but the buff hen did and she lived out her days in the canary room for uh, a fair amount of time. So, um, you know, optimally you're looking to breed males, optimally you're looking to breed yellow feathered birds. So this was a buff and it was a female. Um, those are the breaks, I guess. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you have, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, we will do the Native Diaries every fortnight. We'll keep up with what's going on here in the Canary Room. Until next time, take care.